Terry Everett, a Dothan native known for his 16 years of service in the United States Congress and career in journalism, passed away this week at the age of 87. Everett was elected to Congress in 1992 as the representative for Alabama's 2nd District. He served in this position until 2008 when he did not seek re-election. Along with that, Everett and his wife Barbara worked for several daily and weekly publications in South Alabama. Today at his home church in Rehoboth, friends and family gathered to honor his life. The sound of victory in Jesus swelled at Rehoboth First Baptist. As hundreds gathered to celebrate and remember the life of Dothan native and longtime Congressman Terry Everett, who passed away peacefully at his home on Tuesday at the age of 87. Terry's life and impact on so many in this room and well beyond can be adequately covered by one person in 10 to 15 minutes time. But as Terry would say, keep it short and don't use any 50 cent words. Before becoming a congressman, Everett served in the military as an intelligence specialist in the Air Force for four years. Afterwards, he started a career in journalism, working for several publications and even owning a few publications around Southeast Alabama before deciding to get into politics. Terry got up, turned the television off, looked at me, Barbara said, and he said to me, I'm going to run for Congress. As she put it, unfortunately, my first comment to him was, who will vote for you? <laughs> but as with every new task he chose to undertake, she soon accepted that Terry would be successful. He served as the representative of Alabama's 2nd District from 1992 to 2008 and served on a number of committees like Agriculture, Veterans, and Armed Services, creating bonds with people on all sides of the aisle and across the water with world leaders which in one instance gave Everett the chance to share a wiregrass staple. He was invited to join in an official congressional meeting welcoming in the Capitol building the newly elected president of the Republic of Georgia. As Terry reached out and shook the hand of then Georgian President Edward Shevardnadze, he also presented the visiting dignitary with several small bags of Alabama peanuts. Not only remembered Terry from a previous meeting in Moscow, but had recalled Terry handed him peanuts back then too. As the song Amazing Grace played, Everett's casket was taken out of his home church in Rehoboth to Gardens of Memory Cemetery in Headland, where Everett was given a military burial to honor his service in the armed forces. Earlier this week, Governor Ivey directed flags to be lowered to half staff on the grounds of the Alabama State Capitol Complex and in District 2 to pay respect to Everett.